Hello there, it's me, Rama, with a new version of the Rama Save System. And in this version, I've added some features for versioning that you can customize to your heart's content. So here I've now supplied game version. Now this is saved with each and every um, variable, like when the game, each component, saves this game version. And also every Rama save object, if you're just saving static data, also saves the game version. And when you load any save file, I report the game version that was loaded in every component and in the save object, which also stores that value. And you can do whatever you want with it. If you know it's an older save file, you can tell the player to upgrade, whatever, to resave, I don't know, whatever you want to do do custom logic based on how things were at the time of that save file, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's in, I don't do anything with it on my end other than save it and load it for you. When you save a new file, you will always get the newest version which is stored here in the Rama Save System settings. So uh, another thing I added is the ability to remap the names of variables whose names have changed between different versions. So an old variable was saved in an old file, now you change the name. So we're, I'm going to show you that live. Please also note an additional log option to log the actor class paths in case you have to remap an entire class path as well. So let's see this in action. First we're going to save the game. Game is saved. Look it loads! Now we're going to exit. Notice body color is green currently. Now we're going to pretend now that two months of development time have passed and you've gone from version 1.0 to version 2.111. That's your new game version. And now we're going to also change a name of a variable that is in our very important character class and someone, probably by accident, completely changed this utterly really important but renamed uh, variable. And for whatever reason you can't just rename it back to what it was before, you have to keep the new name for one reason or another. And so now we have a problem. This isn't going to load anymore because this variable doesn't exist in the save file with that name. So first let's see what happens. Remember we already, we already uh, saved a level, we already saved the game. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to load it. Please note that it says the loaded game version is 1.0. That should already be your clue if things aren't working correctly that you're, you're loading an older save file and you're not up to date. But notice also body color is green. Now, I forgot to do one thing. I'm actually going to change the body color and I'm going to turn it um, red or pinkish red. Alright, so now we're going to just load the file. Now note that the body color is now the, the appropriate new default, but at the time of the save file it was actually green. So if you look in your in the log, I generate a lot of information for you there. And you'll see right here, property in save file but not found in class. Resave to get rid of this message if you know it's not important. But if it is important and you need that data to be uh, reloaded properly, consider remapping old variable name to the new one via project settings or system. Now what's the name of the variable? This. So I tell you the class and then here is the actual variable name. Now we know the old name and the new name now because I tell you in the file. You may not remember what the old name was, but my, in the log I tell you the old name so that you can actually fix it. So let's go back over here, project settings, and in our save system settings, now we're going to add a mapping. Here's the old name. Now the new name is going to be the reason it's called path is because it could be a class path or a variable name. So I had to pick something, so that's what I called it. Now here, the new name is this. So now we're going to go over here and say that. Okay, so our original name was this, now here's our new name. Now notice I very conveniently list that for you here in the list. You'll actually see the new paths uh, displayed for you in this list. So now I don't actually need this. <laughs> so now we've done a mapping and it's in the game. You could send this out as an update to players. And we've essentially now patched an old save file without modifying the old save file, which you obviously can't do. You can't ask everyone to send you your save files. But now we've done the remapping. So now let's go and remember I changed it to pink, right? Yeah, from green 
So now if we go in game, watch. Look! See it loaded green. So I the redid the remapping, and it's still version one. And even though it should be red, it reloaded as green properly because we did the remapping. And if you look in your output log, you're now gonna see down here in the more up-to-date log, <laughs> you'll see that message is gone. So you could do this with classes, you could also do it with variables as I've shown, you can do it with anything that I'm saving because it's, I, I check both. If I try to load an, if, right, right before I load an actor class, I check, has the path been remapped, right? And so if it has, you can deal with that here. Remember to see what the actor class paths are, just have this turned on and check your log. And again, what that actually looks like is when I'm loading here, I say loaded class path and I loaded this, right? So you see it right here, char bp bat. So this entire path is what you would say state as your old path. And then if you changed a folder or whatever, you would put in the new path in the under edit project settings. So that is the new set of features for helping with versioning issues and variable renamings. And now with the game version, oh last thing, to see how you get the game version. The getting the game version is right here. Rama save is the name of this component under components, the Rama save component, right? So I'm getting the component within the actor class. I'll just show it just in case. <laughs> so here's get Rama save, right? You do that. And then you say game version. And now this is the loaded game version from file. So you only want to access this after you've done an actor fully loaded event because it's only after this has run that this data will now be filled. Obviously it's a runtime variable so it has to run. It's not in your defaults. It's only in the in the runtime state of the game. So that's how you get the save file version. And then if it's older, you can do logic, like if, if I'm on version that's less than version 2, then I shouldn't expect the unicorns to be present. But if it's after, they'll definitely be there. So that's the whole demo, and now you get to see my video system in action. So have a fun day. Enjoy! <laughs>